non-vegans are more likely to be abusers, murderers, rapists, etc. And so non-veganism has a ripple effect into racism. So because I'm not vegan, I'm also racist now is what you're saying. You think slitting the throat of an animal is humane? It's life. It's not life. Veganism is a scam. They want to do the right thing, but it often turns out to be this sickly cult where they have this holier-than-thou perspective. So I'm here to educate them and hopefully change their mind. I'm Neo Ten Y. I'm a recording artist and spiritual revolutionary from London. My purpose on planet Earth is to help manifest a protopian dimension of peace through the expansion of love energy. What are your opinions on veganism? I'm a meat eater, which seems to be demonized nowadays. Do you think it's demonized? Very much so. You're 99% of the global population. If it's just because the, it's the not... best nutrition available for humans. That is not correct. That is, so you're saying a vegan diet is better for us? Of course a vegan diet is better. Why it's have we proven... thrived for millennia on red meat? Well, we haven't thrived, have we? Have we haven't thrived. I mean, somehow we got here. Yeah, we, yeah, we're here today, but people used to kill animals out of necessity, okay? And bear in mind that carnivores in the wild only eat meat twice a week. They literally only... Twice a week? They, yeah. Carnivores out in the wild? Gorillas are vegan. Elephants are vegan. And but these gorillas have a tiny thriving. brain and the biggest gut out there. If you want to be vegan, okay, go be a vegan. Yeah, but you, you see, you're, human you're, you're, have, you're painting the these human stereotypes. Let's have a look at the indigenous tribes now. They're in the jungle. They have probably every vegetable they could ever want out there. And what do they eat? They eat meat and fruit. Okay, first of all, you're erasing indigenous vegans. Secondly, you're... There is no indigenous vegans. There are indigenous there vegans. Is zero there are indigenous, lots indigenous, of indigenous vegans out there. Vegans. No vegans, no vegetarians, no. Name one tribe then. I can't, I don't, I don't have the knowledge to name tribes. And I can tell you there is none because they've all died out. They've all died out. This isn't a health issue because they're actual victims of the animals. You do understand that, right? We know that being vegan is healthy. So why are we killing and abusing animals for no reason? Right. What I'm trying to fight for here is regenerative farming. Where okay. animals are raised humanely. And the you think slitting are... the throat of an animal is humane? It's life. It's not life. Do you know what your fertilizers are in vegan food? It's chicken bones, it's blood, it's bone dust from dead cows fish emulsions if you actually believed in the philosophies of harm reduction you would be vegan absolutely not i would be eating exactly what i'm eating we need to be vegan not just for ourselves as individuals but for the planet these cows That's haven't given their consent to you to kill them and rape them or, and uh, abuse them oh yeah, i believe that it's our responsibility to look after animals on planet earth Okay. And that's exactly what the farmers I'm talking about I don't do. think farmers who are killing animals and eating their, they their raise, flesh they're is... They're there is, for a purpose. I don't think... But no, it, it's just no, life. That, no, that's not... It, it's death, just life. Death is a huge part of life. Okay, but I don't think murder and abuse is part of life, and I think it's completely unnecessary. Neo, look, the truth is this. Modern day veganism is a scam. What do you eat? I can tell you exactly what I eat. I what I love what to, do you eat? I love to eat the rainbow and I the rainbow. am vegan. So what? A avocados flown in from Mexico to your London home, pomegranates flown in from Thailand, I'm this and that. I get butter from down the road in Ireland. I okay. get my steak from you down see, the road. I wouldn't eat those things uh, you're, because you're, and I... I'm killing the planet with my cow that's down the road, happy to be milked. Cows are not happy to be milked. They're treated with love from the moment they're born. I don't think on the farms I don't I'm think talking forcible about forcible impregnation forcible and impregnation. a rape okay. rack. I'm really sorry, but I don't mm. think that's love energy. Even AI wants us to be vegan. AI has said that we must leave the animals alone. What are you talking about, AI? AI. This is the average vegan holier than thou. Do you believe in consent? Of course, yes. Well, you don't. Not to mention environmental racism, okay? What is environmental racism? Okay, are you talking environmental about here? racism. The people, the human beings on planet Earth that are predominantly affected by world hunger caused by non vegans 
are black people. So basically, there is a correlation. <laughs> taking a sick spin on this. No, there is a correlation between non-veganism and harm. And it's already been proven like psychologically that non-vegans are more likely to be abusers, murderers, rapists, etc. And so non-veganism has a ripple effect into racism. So because I'm not vegan, I'm also racist now, is what you're saying. You don't care about black people. You, that you, you, you don't care about consent. Do your, your research. Your argument is I'm holier than you. You're wrong. No, I'm that's your perception you're... because of your guilt. I can only hope that the ceremony will help open your heart and open your mind to compassion and non-violence. Well, certainly the experience is going to be enlightening, so hopefully it enlightens you to see the simple fact that not all meat eaters are bad and that you can love animals and eat them too. We open the direction of the West. <laughs> so it's like 3 a.m. and we just went on a like nine hour trip <laughs> um, and we can confirm that we are living in a simulation and that like we're li literally we are in a cosmic motion picture yeah yeah totally agree Incredible, speechless. Unless you try this yourself, you will never be able to comprehend what we've just experienced. Beautiful, cool. profound. Mm. I felt like love. Yeah. Mm. How do you feel now about veganism? Like, I, I'm not, I will never be pro animal abuse and animal exploitation. Like, there's, there's, like, for me, it's a hard no, okay? I think leave the animals alone, they deserve to be free. We live in a system which is rigged so hard against the animals and it's completely unfair and factory farming should be abolished. I still stand by that. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, like, I, I, I trust the universe, but I don't think that exploiting animals is cool or fair or fun and I think it needs to end. Mm. Yeah, very clear from the psychedelics that we're just two bros, two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We have two different solutions to the same problem. It's like we're on the same team. We are on the same but there's team. There's a couple disconnects there. Yeah, but yeah. then again, we don't live in a perfect world. Yeah. We can coexist in this world together, as the psychedelics have proved. And sometimes we just need to step down from our ego don't need to be right all the time. Vegans do not need to push their agenda on carnivores. Carnivores do not need to push their agenda on vegans and vice versa. We can coexist together in peace. There, there is, I will say though <laughs> that there is still hypocrisy in that because you talk about pushing agendas, right? Yeah. But, but non-vegans are literally push violence. So, And please. vegans protest by destroying Big Ben and Trafalgar Square and McDonald's in red and white paint. No, they paint. don't, no, dude. There's a the massive difference. That, no, see, you're, you're conflating like people like <laughs> Extinction Rebellion and all those folk, right? Mm. I, like there's a be they, they don't they're not it's not the same. They're not vegans. That that stuff is not. They they're not related. Mm. Like ve veganism is a pacifist movement. At the end of the day, I feel like this experience is just going to allow us to connect with people on a deeper level. But that being said, I was really reaffirmed that I'm on the right path and I will keep preaching my truth. You can love animals and eat them too. All the love for you in the world, Neo. But mushrooms are not. I'm ready for a blue steak. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I have to have patience and I am less aligned with the universe when I am frustrated with humanity for not being vegan. Neo is clearly an extremist vegan, as extreme as it gets, but he's one of the kindest souls that I've met it's, it's, it's beautiful. I wanted to write this song so we can all sing it together and manifest freedom.
I can do that with a guitar later as well if you want.